What is going on guys and welcome back to the Chelsea chat. In this week's episode we preview the whole City game and we look back on last week's 3-0 victory over Leicester City. Start this week's episode by looking back at a dominant display against the former champions. We start this week's episode by looking back on the dominant display against champions Leicester City. From the very start we looked dominant, we showed a lot of composure and we controlled the game throughout. Two beautiful goals from Marcus Alonso and it kind of happened again. I remember in the first or second episode I criticised Pedro for his first for his performance against Spurs and he comes on and plays brilliant against Peterborough and the same with uh, Marcus Alonso. I criticise him and he plays a blinder and scores two against Leicester City. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a good luck charm, you know. I criticise a player and then, um, you know, they come back on top. So maybe this week will be Costa's week as I criticised him last week. Anyway, more importantly, the Leicester game. Uh, we dominated from start to finish. Um, really comprehensive. Pedro and Marcus Alonso were out the outstanding players once again. Pedro is just turning into a top, top player. I actually have him on the back of one of my jerseys last year. And, and to be honest, I got absolutely slated for it. Everyone told me Pedro was shy. Oh, I bet you wasted 15 euro on that. To be fair, even if he did turn out shy, I didn't waste 15 euro because... I got free printing, but you know it turned out pretty well from for me in getting uh, the name on the back of my jersey. Pedro is now bang on form, bang on the goals, and he really is showing you know what why Barcelona had him in their squad for so many years. And um, I'm really delighted to have Pe a Pedro as a part of the Chelsea setup because I've always wanted some because he he brings this experience for uh, that of, he's played with a top top team. That is, you know, don't get me wrong, Chelsea are a top team, but they're not like a top, top team like the Barcelona's, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. And it's great to have them, um, that type of player in the squad. And because he, he just he just knows how to win as an, and consistently. It's not like knowing how to win and you might not, and, you know, winning a trophy here and there. But he was winning trophies consistently at season after season after season. And I think that's why he's such a great player. Now, the man of the hour, of course, was N'Golo Kante, returning to the place where he was crowned English champion. Now, I'm going to have a few stats about N'Golo Kante just throughout the season because he, he was kind of like the main talking point. This season, N'Golo Kante has had 49 interceptions, 22 clearances and 39 tackles won. That is unbelievable for a defensive midfielder. As in... A couple of years ago, he was unknown playing for Khan in French League 1. And now he's one of the top players in Europe, which I fully believe he should have been in the team of the year. But, you know, that's kind of, it is, in my opinion, it's it's not rigged, as, as, as some people would say. But that team of the year does seem to favour non-Premier League players. So, I do think Nicola Conte should have deserved to be in that Premier League team. But, you know... That's just the way things seem to go, really, with uh, you know, with the dominance of Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, and Barcelona. Now we have to preview tomorrow's game against Hull City. Since the last time we played Hull City, they do have a new manager. They have replaced Mike Freeland with the very unknown to England, Marco Silva. Now Marco Silva has managed in Portugal and Olympiac and Greece with Olympiacos and Sporting Lisbon, respectively. Now, with, with, with Hull City, it's kind of a new challenge for him. With Sporting Lisbon and Libyacos being massive teams in their respective countries, this is a whole new ball game as he goes into this uh, Hull City side uh, trying to fight off relegation. They're just out, they're just, you know, in the side of the relegation zone by a couple of points after, you know, two wins in three games, Marco Silva. It was a 2 0 loss in the League Cup to Man United. A two, I can't remember what score they beat Swansea in the FA Cup, but they won. And then a 3 1 win in the league. Now, for Marco Silva, he seems to be doing a good job there. I know they did sell Jake Livermore to West Brom, but he has brought in, like, Omar Niassi, who's kind of unproven in the Premier League, really. He didn't really do a lot of evidence, so now it's Omar Niassi, a big chance to prove himself in the Premier League that he can um, actually play at the highest level of football. And Hull City, you know, at times they've been unlucky. They started off really well, and they beat Leicester 2 1. And I think just that all this time that I've said, like, They've been quite unlucky in games, and other times they've just been generally quite shit. Like, I think they lost 6 0 to Bournemouth. That's who they beat 3 1. They beat three, Bournemouth 3 1. So, there you go. You know, that's how indifferent the whole city season's been. Um, obviously, now we have to look at the, our main uh, the main team that we talk about on this show Chelsea. Chelsea, as we talked about earlier, have come off a 3 0 victory against Leicester and look in absolutely fine form. Um, seven goals in our last two games. As in that um, defeat at Tottenham is clearly out of the system. And um, 
we look good to go. Uh, we beat Hull City 2-0 last time out. And this time out, I think we'll beat them by 3 goals to nil. And it does look like Costa coming back into the squad. Him and Conte have, you know, I wouldn't say settle the differences, but have agreed to disagree and move on with the season. I can see Costa leaving at the end of the season, but for now he's staying with us. It is going to guide us, to hopefully, to a sixth league title. And I'm going to go for, a, like I said, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win at this weekend. I'm going to go for Costa to get one on, the, on his comeback. I'm going to go for Victor Moses to score. And you know what, I'm going to go for a cheeky Gary Cahill goal from a corner. That's it for this episode, guys. Please remember to, as always, give the video a like, share it around on social media, and remember, subscribe.